of this chapter, chapter two. So only the last, last, last part, and it's going to be pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty sta straightforward. So here we go. All right. What we learned about in this chapter was we learned about the nerve impulse or the action potential. So we know that the sodium goes in because the sodium gate opens because it's threshold, and then it rushes in and it... Um, then the sodium gate shuts and then the potassium gate opens and the potassium rushes out and it's like this big domino effect going down the neuron. It's just sodium rushes in, potassium rushes out, sodium rushes in, potassium rushes out, sodium rushes in, potassium rushes out. So now the last thing that we have to learn is some neurons are faster than others and the ones that are faster, they can do something called saltatory conduction. So saltatory conduction refers to the conduction of a nerve impulse along a myelinated axon. It's much faster. Hmm. So I would have been much cooler teacher if I had had a picture of the myelinated axon here. But unfortunately I kind of do these things on the fly and I don't like to put the PowerPoint up and down when I'm recording because it's just lame. So let me show you. This one would be an unmyelinated axon. So whenever you see pictures in your book of something like this, see these little bumps here? This is a fatty sheath. They're made out of um, glial cells. So the glial cells make the fatty sheath. And what happens is, is on a myelinated axon, you only have gates at the nodes of Ranvier. Hey, I just thought of something. Maybe I have it on the next slide. Wouldn't that be cool? Let's take a look. Woo! I do. All right. So look, here we go. We've got this myelin sheet. This is a myelinated axon. All these other axons that I've been drawing all night with no bumps on it like this, those are unmyelinated. So on an unmyelinated, then what has to happen is, is this is what has to happen, is it just, uh, you have to recreate the action potential along every point of the neuron. But on a myelinated axon, you only have to recreate the action potential along the, my, uh, along the nodes of Ranvier, which are going to be on the next slide. Um, that's right where it is, and so it gets thrown. So the demonstration that I do in classes is, I teach in this great big room at LACC, and it's this big old, um, like, uh, what do you call it, I guess a multimedia room. I've got the two huge screens, and then the big LCD projector, and then they, f they flash on that, and then I have the smart board up there. And so the way the room is structured is it's like a really long room. So I could walk to one edge of the classroom, and I give them a balled up piece of paper, and I'm like, okay. I'm going to watch the clock. You guys have to get that balled up piece of paper to the end of the other of the of the row all the way to the other end of the row, but you can't throw it. You have to pass it and we time it. And usually I think it takes around 12 seconds or something like that. But then I say, "All right, let's see what we can happen." And I have two of them like three, maybe four people stand up and I'm like, "This time you can get the ball to the end of the row, but you ha you can throw it." And so then, as long as nobody drops it, it only takes about four seconds. But look, I've got two videos to show you this whole thing. So I'm going to show you the videos, um, and then we can go back to talking about the nodes of Ranvier. Okay, so here's a... unmyelinated axon. Okay, so do you see it's kind of slow, and it has to go one by one down there. Now let's contrast that with a myelinated. See how much faster it is? Let's play it again. So that's myelinated. It just has to regenerate itself at a couple points along the axon. But then here, watch this myelinated. Watch. It's 
see there's no myelination here so it's very slow it has to be regenerated along every point so then let's explain this just a little bit more the charge can leap on a myelinated axon the charge can leap between the nodes of Ranvier so here's where the action potential started sodium went in potassium went out sodium went in sodium went in potassium went out then it's like the charge could since this is insulated the charge just went here and then you had sodium went in potassium went out charge here sodium went in potassium went out so these things are nodes of Ranvier some people call them Ranvier it depends on who your, who your teacher is how they're gonna say it because I've heard all different neuroscientists say it different ways okay so the charge can leap between the nodes of Ranvier rather than being regenerated at each point of the axon nodes of Ranvier are unmyelinated sections of the axon where the voltage activated gates are located so right here it should say where the voltage activated gates are located sorry voltage activated gates are located all right we made it Woohoo! we finished chapter two that's the hardest chapter in the book so hope you guys do well uh, you can email me anytime you need me thanks bye